Alex Beresford, you're in Bristol. Um, you were there yesterday, um, a part of the protest. I and mean... you tweeted that it was an iconic moment, Alex, when the statue of, of Colston, the slave trader, was torn down by protesters and then thrown into the harbour where the slave trading ships would have been held. You received um, a backlash for that. We're watching the pictures that you filmed yesterday of that statue being torn down. What do you feel about that iconic moment as you, as you described <clears throat> it? And about your experience growing up in Bristol in the shadow of Colston's legacy. I mean, Bristol has benefited from the money that he earned trading West African slaves. Well, firstly, Susanna, uh, my tweet wasn't celebrating the way in which Edward Colston's statue was pulled down. It was pulled down in a criminal manner. It is criminal damage. Um, but when you look at the meaning of iconic in the dictionary, an image, an emblem, idol or hero, iconic often describes something else like spirituality, virtue or evil and corruption. And arguably, you know, is... Edward Coulson, or was he uh, evil? Was he corrupt? Well, I have to say, in my eyes, speaking as someone of colour, he was not a very nice person, and he has been and was a divisive uh, figure in Bristol. We can't deny our history. You know, Bristol was part of what was dubbed the Golden Triangle. Mm -hmm. uh, Edward Colston was a massive part of that. We know how many slaves he brought into the Bristol docks. We know how many died as well. Uh, and it was, for me, I guess, an iconic moment watching the statue being pulled down and then dragged through the streets of Bristol, rather significantly, not just to the water, but all the way down to Piero's Bridge. Now, if you live in Bristol, you may know a bit about Piero's Bridge, but Piero's Bridge is actually named after a slave, Piero Jones, who was bought at the age of 12 uh, by slave master John Pinney. Uh, and that is where uh, Colson statue was dumped into the docks. Uh, for me, it was, I guess, an iconic moment I feel it could have been brought down in a different way. We know that there were protests, but let's look at the, you know, the city of Bristol. Uh, Edward Colston uh, is celebrated not just by that statue. We also have the Colston Hall, which a lot of people in the black community will not attend because of the links to the slave trade. We also have, as you will know, Susanna, you studied here in Bristol, White Ladies Road and Black Boy Hill. So we have a rich slave history. We shouldn't hide it. Alex, you know, honestly, <laughs> Alex, I remember going to, to events in, in both those places, living in that. Do you know what? Even as you said that, my skin crawled. There is White Ladies Road and Black Boy Hill in the city. Yeah. And, and those yeah, yeah. names still exist. Absolutely chilling, Definitely. actually. And, 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 it was, and, it, and I, had to, I had to tussle with myself, you know, over the last few days. Do I attend the protest or not? My mum is one of the vulnerable people, uh, you know, who has been endorsed three weeks before the lockdown. Uh, and I've been delivering medication and food. I won't be going to my mum's house out of respect for the next week or so until I know that I'm fully OK. I kept my distance. I didn't actually walk through the protest because I, I had my mum in the back of my mind and I, I still want to be able to support her. I stood back from the protest. I watched the speeches at the back. I followed the route, but I didn't go into the protest. Ultimately, I got pulled into it when the statue um, was being dragged and scraped through the streets of Bristol. That was a, the journalist in me following the story. I did have a mask on and I was wearing gloves and I tried to be as careful as I could. And I understand why so many didn't attend the march yesterday. But if you didn't attend the march, it doesn't mean that you're not part of the solution. Do not feel bad. Uh, there's so many ways in which we can fight inequality. Yeah. But lots of people chose yesterday to put the, the cause before the risk. And I 
And I, you know, and Alex, I understand that. You know, I understood it when my son felt so passionately about it. And I don't, I don't mind people calling me a blazing hypocrite. I've tried. I, I wouldn't go on the protest for that reason. Mm. I don't want to be seen to mm. be hypocritical here. Mm. And I do think they should be observing social distancing. Uh, but I did think that the way Dominic Cummings and that story played out sent a message yeah. to the people of his country. The rules are one thing if yeah. you're in government and one if you're not. And he was supported by all the cabinet.